Hi, I'm coming at you with Dystopian Dream Girl from Foam. So this is their 7% Citra and Galaxy IPA, collaboration with the 48 Beer Project. Um, and all their labels are pretty cool. It's kind of funny that Dystopian is spelled wrong, but it's because it's named after some built of spill song, I believe, where they spell it like that. And, you know, rock musicians can't spell. It's cool to misspell things. So this was canned exactly a week ago. I haven't had this one. Their last IPA I had was pretty good. I mean, it was really good, but it didn't, didn't totally knock it out of the park for me. But Citroen Galaxy, they are some pretty awesome hops. Not sure about the malt bill in this one. They don't really give you a huge amount of info on their beers. But this looks a lot like the other one I had. Maybe it's not quite a, as a bright of a yellow. It's still very pale, but it's not sort of a bright, shiny orange yellow. That's more of a, I don't know, be beige-ish yellow or something. And head's looking pretty good. I guess it's a lot like the other beer. Like There are a lot of big bubbles you can see that'll probably pop and disintegrate pretty quickly. Hmm. That's definitely big on the creamsicle notes. Vanilla and orange, you know, orange Julius type smell. And the uh, Galaxy isn't making it too green. It's not like menthol-y. I mean, it's, it's, got, it's got a hint of that, but it's not overwhelming the creamy, sweet citra. Let's bring in some like pineapple-y notes. Yeah, definitely just pineapple, creamsicle, <clears throat> hint of green quality. Really, really nice aroma. And it seems like, yeah, their yeast creates a slight creamy thing. <laughs> we'll just drink it. Mm. Yep, this is really nice. Very full body. A lot of sweet, creamy flavors, but then it, it somehow kind of finishes dry. It's not too sweet. Just a hint of bitterness, a hint of hint of a tart tang to help clean things out and dry things out on your tongue, but it's not slick on my tongue after one sip. <clears throat> that is pretty good. And yeah, the head's dying down. If they could get the carbonation a little bit finer, smaller bubbles, get a slightly better head, and then it would make that feel even more full and silky. If you could, you know, soft swallow it and you didn't get kind of that carbonic bite if it was smaller bubbles. That's what I that's why I really like beers that are naturally carbonated, but it Seems like that's not the best way to make the hazy IPAs, but natural carbonation makes tiny bubbles that are less perceptible like or something on your tongue. There's just less bite. Mm. Well, yeah, like the last beer I had from them. On your tongue, it's, it's pretty smooth and silky. Mm. Very nice beer. I'm wondering if it's going to get the savory note that I know from their other beer in the finish. Not really. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. <clears throat> and it's not exactly like any other brewery I, I can say. Not Bissell Brothers, I don't know. And maybe it's a little bit like Hill Farmstead. That's the closest I could compare. Now this is getting a little more citrusy, more of a lemon lime thing. But I guess what I what their yeast is is contributing is this um, fresh, doughy quality. Uh, I 
think, and that, that has it helps to kind of push forward with sort of a creamy type flavor. But it's not really that. It's more just like dough, <laughs> yeast dough, fresh fermenting yeast, which is really nice to get that in, in, in a beer. But it eventually brings you the savory quality out that builds up with the bitterness. Well, still, still, it's ultra fruity in the smell and in the mouth. Mm -hmm. That just might kind of be the character. That's how they, they do it. Which, it does add a little bit more complexity, having some some spicier notes in the finish and spicy, doughy, more savory things. After all, the sweet and fruitiness that I, you get at first. That's a very nice beer, but it might just be their style. But eventually, it just kind of, it's not exactly phenolic, I don't know. But that savory note is just it's just something that's not perfect for me. But they do a good job of packing in the fruitiness and making it palatable and making it not too sweet and not much throat burn. Um, a little bit of dryness and bitterness. <clears throat> so Dystopian Dream Girl. I'd definitely buy this again. Uh, 4.25 I guess is fair. Bye.